In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your leads from any LinkedIn Sales Navigator Lead Search audit list like this one and turn it into a clean CSV file with first names, last names, verified professional emails, LinkedIn URLs, job positions, company names, company websites, and much more data that you can leverage for your prospecting. And for that, we are going to use the Eva Boot Chrome extension, which is a tool currently used by more than 50,000 people. What this extension does is that it adds a button here on your sales navigator pages, export with Eva Boot here that will allow you to export any lead search or lead list into a CSV file with professional verified emails in just one click. So to download this extension, you can click the first link in the description. It will lead you to the sign up page and then will ask you to download the Chrome extension on the Google Chrome store. Once you're here, you click on add to Chrome here, add extension, and here it will automatically open a sales navigator page and you will see the button appear here. Once you have this button, you can go back to any list or search uh, you have here and you will see uh, this button. If you don't see it yet, just refresh the page so you are sure that your sales navigator is updated and you have the button. So once you see it, you can click on export with EVBoot. It will open the EVBoot app and here you will be able to select if you want to export your leads with or without the emails. So in that case, we will export the lead with the emails and here I will name my search. After that, I just need here to click on export leads. And once my export is ready, I will receive an email notification. So here you can see that my export has been launched and I have an estimated end date on the left. If you select the no email option at launch, but you finally want the emails, no panic. You can still cl here click on find emails and add the emails afterward. So once your export is completed, you will have here few statistics. So in the colored emails, you have the number of emails that uh, EVB found for this specific search. And if you click here, you have uh, the ratios of safe, risky and empty emails. So safe, we are 99% sure that the email exists. Risky means that the email is unverifiable and empty means that the email have not been found. If you want to know more about these three categories, why some emails can be verified and how EVBoot find and verify the emails, I will leave a link to the whole process in the description of this video. Basically, you can expect between 40 and 90% email uh, discovery rate. It will usually depend on your industry. If your industry is really digital, for example, startups, employees, you will find a lot of emails. And if you are in a more like classic industry, like construction obviously people will share less information online and your email discovery rate will be a bit lower to download your file you will need to uh, buy credits for that you can go to pricing and you will see that our offers start at nine dollars for 100 credits per month basically you spend one credit to get the linkedin data so profile information and company information, including company website, etc. And you also spend one credit when an email is found and only when an email is found. So for example, one lead exported with one email is two credits. So with 100 credits, you can get either 100 leads without emails or 50 leads with emails. Once you get your credits, you can download the file by clicking here on the uh, download icon. Here to show you the data, I have uploaded the um, Neverboot file into Google Sheets. And here you will see that uh, we export a lot of information from LinkedIn. So first name, last name, email, URL, prospect position, company name, company website. If the profile is uh, open or not, if it's premium or not, if it's open to work. So you have a lot of data you can leverage for your prospecting. Two most important things here to know is that if you boot get uh, two features that make it uh, unique, we clean the data. So we clean the first name, the last names and the company names because in your prospecting, you need clean data. If you use, for example, an email automation tool and you use like variables like hi, first name, I see that you work in company name, you know, with variables. If you use that, you need clean data. So here you can see that you get no emojis, 
no capital letters as you can find often on LinkedIn. All the names are clean. Same thing for the for the company names. Often you get uh, names in all caps or you get juridical mentions in the company names like LLC, stuff like that. So if I put make sure that uh, we clean that so you can directly have clean data without spending hours, you know, killing your eyes on an Excel file, cleaning the, the data manually. The second thing that we do to save you time is to check if the leads in your sales navigator search really match your search filters, because maybe you don't know it, but at least 20% of your leads in your sales navigator searches don't match uh, your search filters. I won't explain why in this video because it's a large topic. If you want to know why, you can check the complete uh, sales navigator tutorial that will appear uh, in the top right of this video. But basically on a uh, Neva boot file, you get two columns here, match filters and no match reasons. So if it's written yes, it means that the lead is matching the search filters you entered here on the search criteria on the sales navigator. And sometimes, Evaboot will notice that there is a problem. Here, it's wrong company size. So if you enter the company size on your search filters and finally the lead that has been extracted is not in the company that had this size. And sometimes there is one, sometimes there are several um, problems with the lead. Here you can see wrong company size, wrong period in company, wrong title. And here I was looking for head of sales. I can see head of sales in the US. And I can see that this profile is an intern. So it's really far from uh, what I was searching uh, initially. And when I open the profile here, I can see that indeed uh, this person is not an head of sales at all. It's an intern in this company. So as, as I told you, I won't tell you why, because it's a large topic. If, if you want to know why you have this problem, then most importantly, how to avoid having uh, these leads in your search results, you can check the tutorial I've had it a few seconds ago. And with this feature, you will also save a lot of time because imagine prospecting all these people that are not in your target. This will be a waste of time, money, and energy. So if you can avoid that and focus on the people that are really likely to buy your product or your services, you will save time and close more deals talking to uh, relevant people. And as you know, you can only send between 100 and 150 emails per day per email inbox. So let's say you export a lead search with 1000 leads, 200 leads in that search at least will be out of your search filters. So it means you would spend one of two days uh, prospecting people that are not in your target. So what the Eveboot uh, Chrome extension does for leads, it also does it for accounts. So if you want to export account lists, uh, it's possible. You just have to head here to your account list and click on export with Eveboot. And you can also uh, do that for your account uh, searches as well. The only difference is that we won't find the emails directly from account lists because obviously we found emails for people not for companies. So if you want to go from an account list to an email list, you will have to first create a list of decision makers out of a company list. And for that, you can like search for companies here with the account search engine on Sales Navigator, create an account list out of your account search. For that, you search for accounts. You can tick the checkboxes here or all the page, click on save to lists here. Uh, add uh, the companies to a current list or create a new list. Ila will simply add them to the test list. Go back to the lead search, expand the filters, scroll down to account list here. Here, look for the list I've just created. Test here and basically on the right will appear all the people working in these companies. But me, I just want the decision makers. Let's say I only want the CEOs. I will go to current job title, write CEO and boom, here I've been from a company list to a list of all the CEOs of the companies here in my list name test. And once I have that, yes, I can use the Evoboot Chrome extension to export these decision makers and find their emails. And that's how guys are you export leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate leads, you can check the complete tutorial that will appear just right here. I wish you a great day guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.